Howdy folks, Dbart here with a bonus recipe that actually did not make it into the MariaDB cookbook. Today we are going to install MariaDB on OpenSUSE 13. So, I have my MariaDB hoodie on, so I am dressed for the part. And so let's jump right into it. Uh, first stop though will be the web where we are going to go to MariaDB.org to uh, use the MariaDB repository configuration tool. It's down here in the resources on the left hand side. Click on that. And that'll take us to this tool. Like I said, we're on OpenSUSE. So we'll go to OpenSUSE 13 and the version that we're interested in today is 10.1. Now, as you can see here from the note, MariaDB include, uh, OpenSUSE includes MariaDB in their repositories. So all that, all that you would need to do to install MariaDB directly from the OpenSUSE repositories would be just zipper install MariaDB. But if we look and do a sudo zipper info MariaDB, then we will see that the version of MariaDB in the repositories is version 5.5, uh, which uh, we, we are more interested in version 10.1, which is the latest version. So the version in the OpenSUSE repository is, is from the 5.5 series, and so it's an older version. So we're, we don't want that. So we're going we're gonna to follow these instructions instead and install MariaDB 10.1. So, for OpenSUSE, copy and paste the following into a file under etsy zip repos.d. So I'll just highlight that, switch back over here, and sudo, and we'll call it mariadb.repo. And then let's select it. There we go, switch back over. Paste that in and go ahead and quit. Right quit. And now let's switch back. Once the file is in place, install MariaDB with the following. All right, let's preface that with sudo and paste that in. sudo zipper install MariaDB server MariaDB client. Go ahead and do that. The file is signed with an unknown key. Continue. That I happen to know that key is the correct key. So we'll go ahead and say yes to that. All right. Now there is a MariaDB client package already installed uh, from 5.5.45, and it's conflicting um, with the MariaDB client package provided by uh, the MariaDB repository. So what we're going to do. is we are going to go with solution two. Do not install MariaDB client. So we'll go ahead and the MariaDB client 5545 package. So we'll go ahead and do that. Says okay, we're going to install these three packages. Is that okay? And that is okay. Now the packages are installed are downloaded it'll go through and install them this process generally doesn't take very long All right, uh, the um, packages are installed, MariaDB is installed, so uh, there is a note that it does, that it prints out to the screen, uh, warning us that there is no password for the MariaDB root user. Now, uh, first thing we need to do
the start MariaDB. And uh, if we do, if we run the MySQL command line client, uh, connecting to MariaDB as the root user, um, you will see that we can connect without using a password. And that is bad. So our first order of business before we do anything else is to run this MySQL secure installation script. So preface that with sudo. Go ahead and do that. Uh, this script is highly recommended to be run um, on any new install of MariaDB. So here we go. Enter the current password for root. There isn't one, so enter because there's none. Set a root password. Yes. Let's type in a password. There we go. Re-enter it. There we go. I'm trying to be careful so I don't fat finger it like I have in other videos. Uh, remove anonymous users. Yes. Disallow root login remotely. Yes. Remove the test database and access to it. Yes. Reload the privilege tables. Yes. And that's it. The script is very quick and easy to run and gives you some good out-of-the-box security. So now, if we try to connect as root without providing a password, access denied. So we'll to put a dash P on there. It'll now prompt us for a password. And we're in. Welcome to the MariaDB monitor. Um, server version 10.1.8. Uh, there's not much installed by default. Uh, database wise so we can go ahead and show databases to illustrate that we have the information schema and the performance schema uh, we also have the MySQL database which is a special internal database full of all sorts of internals that MariaDB needs to uh, run uh, it stores configuration variables it stores uh, information on users grants that sort of thing uh, we don't want to really mess with that on our own um, so let's go ahead and create a database for us to actually use. So we'll do create database. Uh, we'll call it my underscore database. There we go. Let's go ahead and use it. My underscore database. There we go. Um, and now let's create a table. Create table T1. We'll have to give it a column. The first column will be called A. And we'll make it an integer, and that's it. We're just going to create a very simple table. And then let's insert. Oh, first, first, let's let's show tables. And you see that the only table that we have is T1. And so now let's insert into T1 values. Let's see, one, two, three. Four. four quick ro records entered in. Now let's do a select. Select everything from T1. And there we go. Everything seems to be working as I would expect it to work. MariaDB is now installed on my OpenSUSE 13 box. Um, in future videos, we will delve into more of the uh, advanced features of MariaDB. We'll, we'll kick the tires a little bit more, uh, explore uh, a lot of the things that MariaDB can do. But for now, uh, for this recipe, uh, MariaDB is installed on OpenSUSE uh, 13 and it's running and I think we're done here. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.